let's go over the top five baitcast reels under $100. Now keep in mind, this is my personal opinion after working at two tackle shops and using a large portion of these reels at some point in time in my life. If you guys have a differing opinion than me, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it with you guys. The point is, is to just highlight some really good products. So let's get into it. For number one on our list here, we have the Abu Garcia Max X. Now, this is basically the same thing as the Abu Garcia Black Max. The Black Max was the old version. This is the new version. I can't tell you how many people this has been their first reel that they've ever had, right? Their first ever baitcast reel was an Abu Garcia Black Max, or now the Max X. These are coming in anywhere around 50 to 60 bucks is where you can typically, the, the typical price you can get it, sometimes a little bit cheaper. Um, these are a phenomenal little reel for 50, 60 bucks. I'm not a big fan of baitcast reels under $100, but there is a couple like the five in this list that I think are, are pretty dang good products. This reel is very widely available, lots of different tackle shops. Um, like I just got this, you can buy this at Walmart. I mean, you can buy this at Cabela's, Shields, um, tons big five tons of different sporting shops have this um overall you can still feel of all the reels on this list this is definitely the one that feels the cheapest just in your hands moving it you can definitely feel uh it just doesn't have that same level of quality as a couple of the others on this list Another thing I'm not a huge fan of is the colored knobs. I think it just makes it look really cheap. Not a lot of reels have colored knobs like that. Um, but overall, it still casts very well for a $50 to $60 bait cast reel. It does come in only a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio, so you don't get a whole lot of options, but there is a left-hand or right-hand version available. Now, if you were willing to spend just a little bit more money, I would recommend the uh, Abu Garcia Max STX which is an orange and gray reel. That one's coming in at around, I believe, 60, 70 bucks. Um, I think it's a, a big jump in terms of quality from this one. However, I didn't include it on this list because I just had a couple other reels I really wanted to highlight in here, and I feel like I, I had to get something around that $50 to $60 range, and this one is the only reel that I would buy for that price range. But yes, the Max STX and Max Pro are also great reels under that $100 mark as well. Now, number four on this list is going to be the Daiwa CC80. Now, there is a couple others. There's the Daiwa CR80 and the Daiwa CA80. I haven't done a whole ton of research in terms of the difference between those reels, but the one that I have seen the best reviews for seems to be the CC80. It's coming in at about $70. Um, it does not have the T-Wing system like the Tatula reels have. However, it still casts pretty dang good for a $70 reel. Um, it's also a Daiwa, so it looks really nice. It definitely looks uh, more expensive than, than you know, what it costs. Overall, great reel. I don't have as much information on this reel, um, but I have gotten very good reviews at the shop on this reel. If you were willing to go up a little bit in price, then you would go to the Daiwa Fuego, which is about $120. I definitely think that's going to be a better option, um, but it is almost double the price. So I know we're trying to keep this $100 or less for today's video. One thing I will say about the CC80 is it is coming in at 6.9 ounces and it's a fairly compact reel. So I think that's something that's pretty cool. A lot of times those smaller compact reels are typically a little more expensive, it seems like. Um, so it's really cool that this reel is so incredibly small and light for that price range. I think that's pretty cool. Now, the next reel on this list, reel number three, this one has a soft spot in my heart because I have fished with one of these for a very long time, especially as a kid. It was, I think, my second Baycast reel I ever bought um, after the Black Max. Um, and this is the Lose Speed Spool LFS. Now, these are coming in at about $100, but there's a lot of sales for them. For instance, Tackle Warehouse right now, it's coming in at $80. Bucks. I love the LFS. I mean, it is just for $100 for that price range. It is a phenomenal reel. This was my workhorse reel. So I had this like on my, uh, I think it was my like Senko, like my pond setup, right? So frogs doing all that kind of stuff. When I was younger, I didn't have a rod and reel for every different type of bait, right? So I was pretty much using this thing like every single day 
day in the summer and I didn't go in and oil it or grease it or, or like, you know, take care of it at all. And it always worked for me. This, I had this thing for like four or five years and I trashed it and it was phenomenal for what I was trying to do. Caught tons of big fish on it. I'm sure I've got a bunch of pictures of fish that I used to, to, to catch with this. Absolutely love this reel workhorse reel. Now obviously the speed spool that I had is obviously an older model compared to the new one. However, the reviews and results seem to be the same uh, no matter what model you have. This would be a very good next step up from the Black Max or the, the Max X. Listen Luz, I'm not a huge fan of all of your products. I, I'm more of a Shimano and Daiwa guy, but Luz, you knocked it out of the park with this reel. For $100, it's awesome. Now, reel two on this list is probably not something you guys expected. I have been known for throwing Bass Pro brand reels in some of my top fives, and it's honestly because they make pretty dang good stuff. Um, and this one is the Bass Pro Shops Pro Qualifier Baycast Reel. This thing, we sold so many back when I worked at Bass Pro Shops. They got phenomenal reviews coming in at $100, not to mention they throw tons of different sales for these guys. I remember during Christmas, during like the Fishing Classic, there was a couple sales through the year where we sold them for like 50 bucks. Oh my goodness, $50 for this reel is phenomenal. Even $100 for this reel is really good. Now, Bass Pro Shops baitcast reels, from what I was told, were made in the same factory as Luz, and then our spinning reels were made in, from the same factory as Daiwa. So the overall, the body, I mean, it pretty much looks like a Luz reel. Um, there's a lot of resemblances to a Luz. Maybe the Speed Spool LFS is what they kind of resembled the reel based off of. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of assuming here, but this reel casted a pretty, pretty dang pretty dang far. It was a pretty good caster. Um, it was really durable and they've had a ton of different models of this. Like it seems every couple years they're, they're bringing out a new pro qualifier and every time they make one, it, they just get better and better and better. They've done a really good job of improving this reel over the years. Um, and yeah, I think they did a great job with the new pro qualifier as well. All right. Now, number one on this list beats everything by far. In my opinion, this is hands down the best reel for $100 or less. It just completely blows every other reel out of the water, and that is the Shimano SLX. Coming in at $100, the Shimano SLX is one of the best things that Shimano has ever created. The brakes and casting on this reel feel like a $150 or higher reel. It is just for the money, this is the best bang for your buck reel that you can get on the market today. Um, there are tons of different upgrades with these reels. The SLX, through the years, they've put a, a DC model, they've made a 70 model, um, they've done a ton of different sizes and different, you know, upgrades and, and different features to these reels, and they just keep getting better and better and better. But the base model, which is just the SLX A, is just phenomenal. The Shimano SLX-A walked so that the other SLXs could run. I think that's how you say it. Between the silent tune, the SVS braking system, uh, the Hagane, I think is how you, the Hagane body, I think is how you pronounce that. Between all those features that all of the previous Shimano reels had, they brought it down into the SLX and just really, really just put themselves on top with this reel. They've got a decent amount of, of speeds as well. You got a 6.3, 7.2, 8.2. So they've got a decent amount of, of, of speeds in there. Do have some different sizes, although the price goes up. Um, they still look phenomenal. They look like your classic Shimano reel, but they've got a little bit of blue accent on it, which is really cool. A lot of, a lot of Shimanos use typically just that silver body. So it's cool to have a little color in there. Just phenomenal reel. It, it feels more like a $150 baitcast reel in your hands. If you guys want to see a couple rods that would pair up really nice with these reels, I will put them right up here for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If I missed a product, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it with you. See you guys next time on Humbug Videos.